welcome to Baby Einstein in July. I'm your host, Thomas Donegan. Why, why am I not happy, you ask? Well, when I said I was going to do the 2004 remix for Season 2, I really did not want to do this one. I said it would be all about the 2004 remix, as well as the new episodes that you, I'm sure you've seen by now. But this one I really did not want to do. And it's the only one left. And no, I didn't do them from best to worst. I did them from age rate. Or, for those who've seen the Baby Einstein, or about Baby Einstein, that has been on loads of Baby Einstein DVDs. Well, of, of around 2004, I should say. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh... The only 2004 version left is Baby Newton All About Shapes. See? Wait a second, it says Discovering Shapes. I'm still referring to it as All About Shapes for you Baby Einstein fans. Uh, and a visually playful, musically pleasing exploration of shapes in our world. And here's Baby Newton the Lion wearing a shapes outfit and holding an apple. <sighs> From my perspective, I'm sure you've seen that Baby Newton All About Shapes. Fun at first, but time went on and soon this came out. And Baby Newton All About Shapes was like two years old at the time. As you know, it was released in 2002, just after Baby Einstein. Movies were released by Disney from about, what, 2011? But, watch this remake before, and I don't want to explain my thoughts just yet, but really did not want to do this one. And Carlos Reyes, although you begged me not to, I said it was going to be the 2004 versions, and this is it. So, and stop me. You know what? I think we should get this over with. I'm Thomas Donegan, and this is Baby Einstein in July. Don't say I didn't warn you. I tell you, this remake is not going to be pretty. That's all I'll say from what you've seen in the cold opening. But here's our friend, Baby Newton the Lion, and he sees a box with 96 crayons. He's using one of them so far, an orange one. And he's drawing a head and the body with the buttons. Uh... Oh, and the song that's playing is, uh, Voices of Spring, First Movement by Vivaldi. He's already drawn the hands, the arms, the legs, and the pants, and the shirt. It's not only, and the song is playing that's not only in Baby Vivaldi CD, but it's also in Traveling Melodies. You see he's drawing the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Uh, what else is he missing? He's using a purple crayon, and now he's drawing the hat. And now for the final piece, the hair. Uh, the the fir very first shot where Baby Newton comes in is one of the three pictures on the back of the DVD cover. And then voila, his shape clown is finished. Off we, he goes. Now we roll the opening titles. With the voices of Fall First Movement, also from Traveling Melodies. The Baby Einstein Company presents Baby Newton, All About Shapes. That's what I'm saying, All About Shapes. You can call it Discovering Shapes all you want. And now we're into six crayon box, 90 crayons short. Oh no, what have they done? What have they done to I Know My Shapes? Ugh. Oh, 
Why, baby Einstein? Why did you change that? Out of all the mess-ups you've done in the 2004 remakes, this is probably your worst. Oh, and they changed the lyrics as well, although they still keep the animation. And the singer isn't even trying to rhyme, see? Any shape you want, simple thing to do, they don't rhyme! And they add children as well. And if you're wondering who that singer is, her name is Callie Moore. Want to know what she's famous for? Hold on. Triangle yeah, for hat. Now we're Mini finished computer with to pose. work. And look, he looks just like a clown. I know my shape. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, she sang songs out of my range. Seven Steps October. All released in the early 2010s. I know my shape. And you can too. Jack Moss did way better. And an oval. And if you haven't seen Baby Doolittle's World Animals, they still use his version of In the Deep Blue Sea. So, why change I Know My Shapes? Was it really that big of a hit so they had to do another one? Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But, and this one certainly doesn't. And I also don't like the instrumentation of this. Boy, boy. And for those who've seen Baby Newton All About Shapes numerous times, I'm, ash I'm ashamed to say we're going to have to hear it again. But now let's roll all the shapes. The yellow circle. And here's our good friend Pavlov the dog playing ball. You all remember him from as the host of Baby Doolittle's Neighborhood Animals. And he had that puppet show where the yellow duck had his bone and they were chasing it through the symphony number no. three segment. Uh, Pavlov loves, really love playing with balls. They're all circles, you know. Balls are the most popular circle, I could say. There's a whole lot of circles. Oh, I hope Pavlov's alright. I'm not gonna feel alright, at least for most of this review. And the shape clown I think that picture we see on the back of the 2004 DVD cover, yeah. So we've seen two, that means there's only one left. We're gonna get into that later. Right now he's using the circle, C-I-R-C-L-E. They just, they don't never show the word, they just show the shape. He uses it as a cool hoop, just like he does in the original. Up it goes. Now we're into the circle segment, or music part of the circle segment, which is Violin Concerto Number no. 3 in G Major First Movement. All the songs are by Vivaldi. Don't mind the music of Vivaldi, but just not nowhere on the same ranks as Bach, Mozart, or Beethoven. So what do we see that are circles? We know bubbles are circles. They're still on that, and that's a good effect. And here's the walking clock. Clock is a circle, and the red nose is a circle, so are the eyes. Clocks tell time. Here's these eyes of the owl are circles. And here's a girl on a tire swing. That is a circle. So many circles out there. And all the colorful planes are replaced with silver planes. I, the color planes do better. And the flashing lights that we saw in Baby Mozart and some of it in Language Nursery and Baby Galileo, that's there. Those are circles. And the basketball hoop and the hoop itself are circles. And that liquid ball is a circle. A sphere. And there's a girl with sunglasses. Those lens are circles. And the middle of the flower is a circle, but it's in slow now. They slow it down from the original. The original did better. They show the life cycle of a flower blooming and it's aging. The 
those water drops are circles. Remember the water from Baby Neptune discovering water? Yeah. Wish I was watching that again. And those peas are circles. They're falling from the sky. Or should I say sprouting? Don't know what they're doing, but they're doing it in the rain. And there's one gear. No, two gears. Three gears. Four gears. Oh, five gears. They're, they're way different than the gears we saw in Baby Shakespeare, World of Poetry, and Baby Galileo discover... No, not Baby Galileo. Baby Van Gogh. But those oranges are circles. We just saw, what, seven gears? I think so we did. Now we're into the crayon. Crayon a blue. Did you know Baby Newton, All About Jake, is the only Baby Einstein movie to have computer animation? Or should I say 3D animation? So, they don't use it in any other movie. Oh, oh well. Wonder where the blue crayon went. Oh well. That was only our first segment. So what's next? Ugh. Blocks move effects in a different direction from the original. Square. We're into the blue square. And Baby Newton the Lion passed by square, but it came loose. But he knows what to do. He has a wrench and hammer on his belt. There's also some drills, a saw, Home Depot. Look. We still have that because it's a product placement. Love it when they do product placements in Baby Einstein. I don't think it will save me from this maybe Einstein mistake. So dusty. Here's Baby Newton just in goggles. And now the square is fixed. Now Baby Newton can go back to his work. And here's the clown again, ready to present the square. S-Q-U-A-R-E. -E. Using it as a jack-in-the-box. Sure, a playful square indeed. So, and the jack-in-the-box is a version of himself. Actually, the, I think, it's not the, believe it or not, this is not the only appearance of the Shape Clown. It is the only movie where we see him in motion, but also appears in a few Baby Einstein books as a doll. Now we're into the Concerto in G Major. It appears on the soundtrack, Baby Vivaldi CD, and another Baby Einstein movie, but we'll talk about that another time. It, there's, those dice are squares, the checkered flag has squares, and it's, square itself. So many squares in that cube. And look all, it looks like a rainbow. It does. The uh, sliding squares have been replaced by these blue squares and those red triangles, two red triangles that make a square sometimes. Although I do have to appreciate it's following with the, with the music. And those parts of the disco ball squares, cube effects, and Building blocks, little building blocks of squares tossed in the air. Same size as the kid who put green blocks in a tower from Baby Van Gogh, World of Colors. And now the red crayon and the black crayon just drew a pool and they just took a dive and a splash. We rarely watch Baby Newton nowadays. Oh, oh a green oval. I was, as I said before, I rarely watch Baby Newton these days. And no, it's not because I think other Baby Einstein movies do way better. It's just that there are not many that great versions of Baby Newton. There's just the 2002 version, the 2003 version, although it looks similar. All the 2003 looks similar to the original two. Which, in fact, they were the last of the original Baby Einstein. 2004 just blew it. Missing the duck stretch. The yellow duck who, uh, with the red scarf just, uh, didn't wear that until this movie. He just appeared in Baby Shakespeare, or at least I think he did, and then a lot of Baby Van Gogh, and then two scenes in Baby Doolittle's Neighborhood Animals. 
And, of course, we remember the time he took Pavlov's bone in B Baby Beethoven's Symphony of Fun. I already said he was also in Baby Neptune discovering water with the octopus and Baby Neptune, a sea turtle. You can see that the duck and his duck friend with the sunglasses, who, he, who is his only appearance in Baby Einstein movie, he's made his... You can see the oval they made, and the, they stretched, and the oval... I think the clouds are a little close to ovals, or should I say, clouds made up of ovals. And the clown is at the mirror, O-V-A-L. He's using the oval as a mirror so he can comb his hair to make it sure it looks just right. He winks... And off he goes. Now, the next song that plays is... Uh, the Voices of Winter, second movement by Vivaldi. It also appears in the Lullaby Classics CD. See an oval background for the bicycle rider in motion. Those oil drops look are ovals. Seen something, I think we've seen something like that in Baby Neptune Discovering Water, but different. And that jellyfish is a really big oval. See it stretching? And those hot air balloons are ovals. I see five of them. And that mushroom is growing into an oval. On the CD, along with Concerto in G Major First Movement, Concerto G Major for Mandolins wasn't being very specific before. The, uh, those are extended versions. Baby Newton only plays part of them. Those little molecules look like ovals. Also pieces of orange fruit. Close to ovals. And here's a green crayon pretending like he's tap dancing. He's on Broadway, but he's being too much of a show-off. That's why the big cane comes in and swings him off stage, leaving only his hat until the green crayon brings it back. Oh no, we're, we're being flooded! Flooded in purple! Okay, we're good, we're good. Just a purple rectangle. Thank goodness. I think we're into my favorite part of Baby Newton, All About Shapes. Horse answers the door, but doesn't see anybody. Bummer. Horse says, must be a mistake, or ding-dong did. Speaking of which, doorbell rings, and horse tries again, but again, nobody at the door. This angers horse so much that he decides, I'm not going to fall for it again. I hear another knock or a doorbell ring. I'm just going to stay here and pretend no one's here. Oh, never mind. It's Baby McDonald the cow with his party hat and blower. And here's our Pavlov the dog with a pinwheel. And here's Baby Newton the lion with confetti. And yellow duck with sunglasses. Not to be confused with the yellow duck that we usually see with the red scarf. It's just him. He only appears in two puppet shows and we never see him again, although I could be wrong. Maybe there was another Baby Einstein puppet show with a duck with sunglasses. Either way, Horse is completely surprised and now he feels a lot better, ready to celebrate with his Baby Einstein friends. And now we're back to the clown. What's he going to use the rectangle as? A book. Yeah. Rectangles. Books. Oh, it's a music book. Yeah, it's the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star it's playing. It says so in the program guide, at least in the 2003 and 2004 DVDs. And a pretty... But you can never beat the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star that we heard in Baby Mozart. That is hard to beat. And now we're into Concerto in C Major, Third Movement. And that song is also on Traveling Melodies. 
circle ladder, a firefighter's climbing to rescue a cat from a tree, or reach a, to put out a fire from a very high place. And here are the walking luggage, there's one in yellow, I see London, Hamburg, Rome, Vienna, and Paris. Yeah, I actually read them both! Hooray! Or not hooray just yet. And here are the flags. There's like hundreds of them. They're probably representing different countries. And here's Bulgy from Thomas and Friends making a cameo. It's a automatic Bulgy. And here's a blank yellow suitcase or luggage, whatever you want to call it. And these kids are on the jungle gym, and you can see rectangles over there. Uh, uh, you and that robot dog. Body is a rectangle, red robot dog, not like, re mostly not like the one we saw in the yellow segment from Baby Van Gogh World of Colors, not the two we saw, because it was round. And the hands playing with the toy jungle gym, and you can see a rectangle over there. And once again, London, Hamburg, Rome, Vienna, Paris. <sighs> And that monorail is a circle, or it's the monorail train, as you can see, that looks like a rectangle. Why does it say circle? It's a rectangle. These wooden people are climbing ladders, a lot of rectangles there. Those trains are rectangles. There's also a railroad crossing sign and a U.S. Route 66 sign. You remember that song, Route 66 by Chuck Berry? I miss Chuck Berry. He had great songs. Those train loads are rectangles. And rectangles on that walking bridge. And just before we get into the crayon segment, we see a walking blue luggage. It walks, stops for a second, and then goes on the move again. And here's a crayon chase. The yellow crayon is being chased by an orange crayon. Excuse me. Excuse me. Wow, I'm getting dizzy just looking at them. But there's one shape left. The red triangle. Forgot. R-E-C-T-A-N-G-L-E. -E, rectangle. For before. Oh, I've been behind a lot of these commentaries this season. My apologies, Baby Einstein fans. But here, Baby Newton, the lion, is trying to blow off this dirt. I think it's dirt, but can't, his blows are nowhere around. It's nowhere. It's not moving at all. His breath blowing is not strong enough, but maybe he can blow it himself, but he needs another strong blower. And what better to blow away strong dirt than a fan? Blowing all the dust and dirt off, and they're revealing the triangle. Now it lets you baby Einstein get that. Oh, so that's why they have a triangle hidden in the puppet show. They wanted to keep it a surprise. See all its three angles? Baby Newton, thanks the fan, is now very pleased. Off he goes. Spike peering on the front cover. Uh, it's the clown that's the superstar, because we see him more times than Baby Newton the Lion. Uh, well, okay, because ba mo all the Baby Einstein characters, or most of them are, that appear on DVD covers are animals. Uh, anyway, the clown is using the triangle as a musical instrument. There is a... All know, of us know that there's a musical instrument called a triangle. Both the circle and the triangle, as you can see, are hanging on hooks. Now we're into violin concerto number 10 in B minor. First movement was by Vivaldi. Here these clowns' hats are triangles. And off they go. Blast off. Uh, here are the triangles' special effects. Bridge is a triangle. You can see bri triangles on the top of that bridge. A bridge. What's on the side are rectangles. T R I A N G L E. And there are triangles on that walking hedgehog. 
love Baby Einstein toys like that. B triangle with butterflies has been replaced by triangle blocks that disappear and don't come back. And a train bridge tri with triangles is replaced. But and the train's going forward, backward, forwards and backwards like it was in the original. And these three people are on a spinning triangle. And if I was to recall that. A lot of triangles on that toy. I think it might be a Hoberman sphere, but no, that can't be. That's another toy. It had spikes. And these trees making a triangle and a triangle for the man on the hat. Uh, they tr the triangles were green and the hat was blue. And they too were changed. Uh, those, there are triangles, a lot of triangles on that ball. And that's the Ferris wheel that we saw in Baby Bach Musical Adventure during the Goldberg Suite Number no. 1 segment. That's irreplaceable, and we all know it's still there. Those pyramids are triangles, of course. And that sailboat has a triangle. At least its flag looks like a triangle. Yeah. And thus, that's it. No, that's not quite it. We still have more to go. More to go. Another a s yellow crayon bouncing on a pogo stick. And a girl yellow crayon. There was a boy yellow crayon that was being chased by the orange crayon. And here we get to learn that's not I Know My Shapes. It doesn't even sound like I Know My Shapes. No, no, we even know it's what it is now. But they still keep the audio. Yeah, they still keep the narration. Now that's irreplaceable. Do you know your shapes? Of course I know my shapes. That is a red rectangle. R-E-C-T-A-N-G-L-E. -E. That's a yellow oval. O-V-A-L. And that's a purple triangle. T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E. That's a pink circle. C-I-R-C-L-E. And that's a green square. S-Q-U-A-R-E. Now we have to hear I know my shapes again. But since I don't really want to hear it again, I know it's I know I'm supposed to do it at the end of the episode, but I just got a comment from Kevin Gorman, and he asked me this. Will the baby Einstein segment be added on Playhouse Disney Live on stage? Well it's more of a what-if question. But to those who don't know what Playhouse Disney is, or it was a uh, clock on Disney Channel where they played preschool shows and preschool cartoons as well, but not gonna talk... I'll just talk about the original shows, for the shows that were seen on the Playhouse Disney Live show. Starting with Bear in the Big Blue House. I have seen clips of it, but never. I don't think I watched the whole episode. Anybody know it's by the... has the Sesame Street style? That's because it's by Jim Henson. No. Creator of Sesame Street and the Muppets. Then no. And Bear looks like a very popular character. Looks like he's had the time of his life on TV. Then there's Roly Coley Oly, which definitely relates to what I'm talking about. All about shapes and sizes. But it's more wacky, wacky, wacky. And sometimes it's funny. I haven't seen that show in a while. Maybe I should relive it. I know my shapes. And then there's Stanley. Does anyone remember I Stanley? Hey, I too haven't seen that in a while. I know my shape. It's all about a boy who is curious of animals and nature. I'm guessing his favorite baby Einstein movies would be Neighborhood Animals and World Animals. That's my guess. And it's the guy who created Stanley is Jim Jenkins, who you all remember as the creator of Doug. And I hear he's going to be 70 this year. And then there's Winnie the Pooh, but you already know who he is. He's the lovable, willy-nilly, silly old bear who lives in the Hundred Acre Wood with his friends, Piglet, Tigger, need I go on? And let's not forget Christopher Robin. And finally, one more I'll mention before we get to the end credits, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Uh, Disney's version of Dora the Explorer, but... It's still fun, yeah. It went on for like 10 years. 
Now we're finally into the end credits of Baby Newton All About Shapes. I'll just mention a couple more shows. Jojo Circus, another one created by Jim Jenkins. that he has tools, as in hammers, you know, not extreme tools like a jackhammer, and he, if, if anyone, if something ends up broken, he, he'll be here to save and fix it. That way he can be back to normal. And finally, Little Einstein's, which was a little before, uh, baby, it's a little after the 2004 remakes, and it's something that Disney and Baby Einstein worked on together. I feel a little better for now, but now I must wrap up Baby Newton All About Shapes. Sorry, song I didn't mention, which is the Lute Concerto in D Major First Movement. Oh, no, I'm late. Well, Baby Einstein fans, that was Baby Newton All About Shapes. At least that, say that. Now they call it Discovering Shapes instead of All About Shapes. And now of all the 2004 remakes, this one is the worst. You know, they screw up one of the best Baby Einstein sing-alongs, I Know My Shapes. Why did they have to change that? It just sounds like a rejected song from Sesame Street or Blue's Clues or... Any other kids show where all they like to do is sing when they learn about stuff. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it isn't, and this one isn't. And I should know that Sesame Street has a way better shape song than the 2004 version of Baby Newton All About Shapes. I know, in Ses the shape song in Ses Sesame Street only names three shapes, the simple shapes, you know, the circle, square, and triangle. At least it still rocks, and I think it sounds like, like it's in the same genre as the original I Know My Shapes. You can check that out. The song is called I'm In Great Shape. You can find it on YouTube. Uh, and even the irreplaceable uh, objects, like the puppet shows, that doesn't keep me from disliking this. I, I know that all franchises are not perfect, you know. Some are good, some are bad. But you know, at least I feel a little better now that I talked about what Kevin Gorman sent me, you know. Baby Einstein should be part of Playhouse Disney Live show. It was, I would say it was so close to be on Playhouse Disney Live. All it just had was its inspiration, Little Einstein's. Uh, inspiration, but some, a show like Baby Einstein, you know, it has classical music, artwork, and stock footage. Yeah, I would watch that show. I would watch 20 episodes of that show straight instead of this. But I, that's another way of saying I like Little Einstein. You know, I used to tune into that show on Playhouse Disney. In fact, I watched this Playhouse Disney show more than any other Playhouse Disney show. Now today, they still call it Disney Junior. More like, uh, Disney's take on their jealousy of Nick Junior. I say bring Playhouse Disney back. Disney does not need Junior in their name. Bring Playhouse Disney back. Or at least try to bring it back. Really glad I got to mention some of the original show. In fact, maybe all the original shows. Not original acquired shows, they didn't count, but original shows. Yeah. They, at least the original shows that were very popular. But, let's, I think let's move on to questions and answers time before rain spins. Did I miss anything? Oh, yes, I forgot to mention that Hedgehog with Triangles was the third and final picture on the back of the DVD cover. Get him trying to catch up. Let's move on to questions and answers time before my brain starts to spin.
So today's question comes from Chase's 51272.0. Oh wait, got a new subscriber notification. Sophia Christic is her name. Well, welcome aboard, Sophia. Now on to my questions and answers. Chase's 5127 asks me this. Do you have any more Baby Einstein products? You know, besides the DVDs and VHSs? Well, some Baby Einstein stuff I collect are CDs. Might have to do a collection on that. It's been a long time since I did my Baby Einstein DVD collection. In fact, I might do something like that as soon as I'm done with Season 2 of Baby Einstein in July. Well, I also have the Discovery cards. Uh, in fact, I uh, have them right close to me. In fact, here are some... I want to show you one. This is the Baby Einstein language Discovery cards. Their original form. It's kind of old, but some of the cards are bent. In fact, a lot of them are, and it's very dusty. I haven't played with them in a while. But that's one of the Baby Einstein products I wanted to show you. Chase Ace 5127 2.0, besides the DVDs. Okay, I'll put this back on my pouch there. All right, so that's that was Baby Newton all about shapes 2004 version. I give this a uh, you know for the sake of Baby Einstein, I would say C minus. Yeah, hard. But hopefully the next Baby Einstein movie would be better. I want this season to end with a bang. Well, I guess I'll see you all for the season two finale. Stay tuned. I'm, this is Thomas Donegan saying bye for now.